It's been five years since Disney revived the fairy tale story about Beauty and the Beast. Since then, and most of all after the big success of the live action movie adaptation, which earned more than a billion dollars worldwide, quietly it is speculated that a sequel part of the movie will appear in Disney's plans. Let's see what we know about the possible second part of Beauty and the Beast. You all remember what happened to the selfish prince who was rude to the wrong lady, which was a beautiful enchantress. He became an ugly beast with horns and finally got his punishment for his vain and selfishness. The enchantress also turns all of his servants into objects and she gives the prince 10 years to find a girl to love him. She also gave him a red rose that represents the curse. A woman must fall in love with him before the last petal of the rose drops. Years go by and no one remembers the enchanted castle deep in the forest. The beautiful Belle lives in a nearby village. One day, her father Maurice goes to the forest to bring his daughter roses, but a storm hits and he loses his way. Then he finds the dark castle and enters inside. When the adorable teacup Chip talks to him, he runs out of fear and finds the castle guarded, which is full of white roses. He takes one and that makes the beast angry, who imprisons Maurice for thievery. You know the rest of the story. Now back to the beginning of the story. Did you know that the story was written 266 years ago? Yeah, you heard it right. It was French author Jean-Marie Le Prince de Beaumont who wrote it. The story about the cursed prince and the beautiful Belle became most popular after the Disney movie in 1991. It was the 30th Disney animated film and the third during Disney's renaissance period. According to the box office, the movie back then was filmed with a budget of only $25 million and earned, believe it or not, over $440 million, according to the box office. In 2017, Disney released the remake of the original movie. It was a live-action adaptation and perfect musical romantic fantasy film that conquered the hearts of the audience from around the world. The Beauty and the Beast remake was announced three years before in 2014. Filming took place in England and with a budget of $255 million, it is one of the most expensive movies ever made. The premiere of the remarkable remake was on February 23, 2017 and it got only positive comments from the critics who held faithfulness to the original animated movie. Also, price the music, costume design, and visual style. All in all, the movie has exceeded all expectations and become the highest grossing live action musical. Also, the second highest grossing movie in 2017 and the tenth of all time. The movie got lots of nominations, like two for Oscar at the 90th Academy Awards and four nominations at the 23rd Critics' Choice Award. One of the biggest impressions of the movie for the fans is the song Evermore, sung by the Beast. It was one of the new ones in the movie. The other ones were Aria by Audra McDonald, Days in the Sun by Kest, and How Does a Moment Last Forever by Celine Dion. Despite the huge success of the movie, there is no announcement for a sequel, but it is sure that fans highly want that. Also, the actors want that, so it's only up to Disney to decide. So stay tuned to the video to watch for more details on how things are at the moment. I'll never shake away the pain. I close my eyes. Instead of working on a sequel, Disney worked on a prequel story. It is a series that would focus on the life of Gaston and LaFalle, the characters from the movie, but before they met Belle. The announcement of the prequel series was made in December 2020, and the sixth part should see Luke Evans and Josh Gad reprise their roles from the live action adaptation. But as things stand for this new film achievement, we will wait. Everything was going as planned, but in February this year, Disney decided to put the series on hold for an indefinite time. From what we know, they didn't like the scripts from Gad. And also, the studio wasn't happy with Alan Menken's music. Maybe this is a perfect time for Disney to follow fans' wishes and announce the new part for Beauty and the Beast. The movie had a star-studded cast that included Emma Watson as Belle, Dan Stevens as the Beast, Kevin Klein as Maurice, Ewan McGregor as Lemuire, Gugu Mbatha Ra as Plummet, Audrey McDonald as Madame Garderobe. And we mentioned before, Luke Evans and Josh Gad as Gaston and LaFalle. We can easily say that the director, Bill Condon, made a dream team cast for the movie and managed to get the best out of each of them. It was clear that the fans were criticizing Emma for her singing. She wasn't awful at all, but they thought that someone with much more singing power would be perfect for the role. 
That's one thing to think about if a sequel will be in Disney's plans. We have some suggestions for the new possible part. What do you say about Halle Berry playing some role with her amazing voice? Or what about how we unite somehow Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson once again in this magical fairy tale? We are open to hearing your suggestions as well. You can write it in the comments below the video. Could Beauty and the Beast 2 become a reality? It seems that Emma Watson thinks so. Just after the premiere of the movie, she spoke for Access Hollywood and she revealed that she's open to reprising her role as Belle for a sequel. She also has an interesting idea, which you will hear further in the video. Dan Stevens, aka The Beast, doesn't know if a second part will happen, but if so, he would like to see more from his Shirley and Horned character. For Variety, he described the idea as odd, but shared that he's open to offers and would like to play The Beast again. Although he thinks that it wouldn't make sense because the beast now is living happily ever after with Belle. The curse is broken and he is transformed into his human form. However, Disney should be wary of doing a direct sequel for the movie, given that Alice through the Looking Glass was very expensive, but it happened to be a massive flop. Alice in Wonderland earned over $1 billion, but in the sequel, the earnings dropped to $299 million. That was a big step down from the first movie. So that's the risk Disney should take for Beauty and the Beast as well. Maybe after Disney failed with a prequel show, we'll think about some new story as a sequel to the romantic musical, which melted millions of hearts in the world. As we said before in the video, Emma Watson has a great idea for a new scenario of Beauty and the Beast. After the premiere of the movie, Emma said that she would love to do a sequel. In her mind, her character Belle will become a teacher and she will run a library in the castle. And the Beast. What can he do in the new movie? Just imagine, he is now a kind and lovely prince who loves Belle with all his heart. They have two kids now, a boy and a girl, let's say Jack and Avril. One day, they play in the nearby forest and suddenly the servants of the Baron from the other kingdom kidnap them. His name is Hugo and he is jealous of Belle's beautiful life with Prince Adam. He will do everything to destroy their happiness. If you think this is an interesting goon, continue the story. Or think about a new one that would be a perfect addition to Beauty and the Beast, the second part. On a related note, what do you think of this movie? Do you think that there will be a Beauty and the Beast sequel? And what's your opinion on that? Is it better for Disney to continue filming the prequel series or nothing at all? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss our next videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.